Okay, hi guys. Um, we're in the 747 simulator, 747-400. And we've got uh, my good friend here. He's flying, Eugene. He's flying the 747-400 uh, simulator. They, these are the guys that did the base training. Eugene was one of them. <laughs> so we've set up the uh, 747 today for a heavyweight departure on runway 07 right in Hong Kong. The reason I've put it here is so that you people see what the sequence is for takeoff during the takeoff roll. So Eugene is the pilot flying. I'll be the captain setting the thrust and so on. The 747-400 did not have the auto call for V1. So I do all the calls for 80 knots V1 and rotate. Eugene is going to ask me to set the thrust. So I'll set the thrust. The pilot flying always asks for set thrust set the thrust and once the thrust is set for takeoff i'll say thrust set so over here is the four thrust levers obviously we've got the auto brake here set up for rejected takeoff rto if you can bring it closer just show them there this is where it was on the 747 400 so it's the rto which is rejected takeoff so if we reject the takeoff for any reason the brakes will automatically come on and all we have to do is select reverse thrust and the brakes will be automatically applied maximum for us to stop the airplane before V1. During the takeoff roll, the first thing I'm going to say uh, to set the thrust is I'll stand the thrust levers up until we get stable thrust on all four engines. Then I'm going to hit the toga switch. Here's the toga switches. We show them the toga switch. Here's the toga switch. There's one toga switch there. usually used by the captain this one can be used by the FO especially on the approach but they both work at the same time when I normally do the takeoff I just hit both of them but either one will give you the thrust setting for takeoff or for go around as well so that's the toga switch to disconnect the auto throttle which engages when I hit the toga switch this is what I use here this one there's one here there's one here for the FO. The reason there's two of them is because the first officer, Eugene, would have his hand like that, and to disconnect, he would use that, like that. If the captain's flying, I would have my hand like that. So I'd use that to disconnect. That's why there's two of them. So there, the auto throttle disconnected. That's what would happen. So first things first, let's look at the sequence, what happens for takeoff. See the runway? Yeah, yeah good. Okay, so I'm gonna stand the thrust levers up, Eugene. Set thrust. Set thrust, okay. So the thrust is coming up. Get stabilized thrust. And watch me hit the. Here's the toggle switch, I'm gonna hit it now. I'm gonna press that. And watch what happens. There's the thrust going up. The thrust is coming up. And the thrust is set. And my hand is like that. So we're keeping it straight. Eugene is keeping it straight using his rudder pedals and I've got my hand there. The speed is coming up, you see that? 80 knots. You see the arrow there? That indicates the speed is accelerating. The airplane is accelerating. Next is V1. I take my hand away from the thrust levers. We have to go. Rotate. Eugene pulls the control column to rotate and it lifts off and the aircraft is climbing positive rate of climb gear up, gear up. I pull the gear and, and the wheels are now coming up check so he's manually flying at the moment but if he wanted to he could engage the autopilot the lowest altitude we can engage the autopilot is 200 feet so we're passing 700 feet Autopilot there, the right autopilot is engaged now, command. and it says here, command. That means the autopilot is engaged. So he could let go of the control now. The, aer the aeroplane will now continue to fly with the autopilot engaged. That command there means the autopilot is engaged. Yep. So how do we disconnect the autopilot? Over okay. here, right? Yep. Well, so I'm Eugene's going to do that. He's going to disengage the autopilot and continue to fly. Okay. Disengage it's the engaging. autopilot. <laughs> Direct autopilot disconnect and that's it and that's the takeoff sequence we're done
Later.